Well, how about that? Friday has arrived. It's the 28th of June 2013 at 6.30 British <laughs> so-called summertime. And I am your host for today, Dave Thackeray, here at Thacknology Live. The clue is in the title there. And I hope you've had a great week. I know mine has certainly been nothing short of challenging. I've been across the world of the Northwest. It does feel like a relatively small globe. I'll put it that way, but we've had loads going on across the world of tech because this is all about tech world, as you'd expect, with a name like Thacknology. I was thinking about getting my name changed by deed poll actually to Dave Thacknology. The it makes a nice change from Fattery, or I don't know if YouTube's going to censor this because it's vaguely rude Twattery, as I used to get a lot back at uh, secondary school. Um, bullying always fun. Anyway, so today on the Pact Show, I wanted to share with you some great ideas from social media and some fantastic stuff from the world of tech, both anything that bleeps and also the stuff online. I don't think I'll mess around any further. I'll get straight to the chase. We've got, first of all, a quick video I want to share with you because I made it. So let's have a watch. Just testing out the magnificent YouTubeness. I thought I'd share a little bit of that with you because he has three great things. Me doing a voiceover, <laughs> obviously, some people have to bear with that. Two, a time lapse, which was literally thrilling to film. Two and a half hours I stood there. And as you can see, I wasn't actually terribly excited. And third thing, what about that flyby using graphics and stuff? You couldn't do that on a Spectrum 48K, could you? Our times have changed. Anyway, that was my tiny little documentary, which was actually a lot longer before for my boss basically said, for God's sake, Dave, I'm not going to watch all that. It's eight and a half minutes long, which is why I ended up being two minutes and 34 seconds. Lots of people on the cutting room floor where they belong, a bit like this show. Anyway, let's move on to some stuff that's been going on on the webs because I think that's quite important right now. So without further ado, I'm going to take you over to, well, this first of all. But more importantly, this. John Jans is on live now, and I don't want you to miss him. So as soon as you finish watching this optimistically live, get over to creativelive.com slash live one. John Jans, of course, the author of Duck Tape Marketing, which is all about referral marketing, which is very exciting. And that's on now. Second thing, which is even more cataclysmically exciting, is this. I've been asked to speak at Web Summit in Ireland in October. Summit about the web, if you're from Lancaster. Now, I need your help, because while I've been asked to speak, the organisers have caveated that I must get some votes. Now, get over to websummit.net slash 
competition slash people. Oh, forget about that. I'll have it on my blog, okay, at davethackeray.com. All I want you to do is find me. I'm hovering around about the 39th position at the moment. I was as high as 27 a couple of days ago, but people are obviously bored with me heckling for their votes. But if you could do it, that'd be awfully nice. WebSummit.net, get over there and people's stage and stuff. But as I say, I'll have the link on my blog. Really excited about that. It'd be good. I want to talk about digital delusion. So this whole idea that we are largely being deluded by snake oil merchants saying that the internet is actually a cure for everything. Well, it's not. There are loads of great things about the internet, but largely it is an illusion because there's lots of people out there who want to make a lot of money off the internet and they do that by making themselves pretend that you too can make a lot of money on the internet. But the only way that they're making a lot of money on the internet is by telling you that you can make a lot of money on the internet and charging you $97 for that information, which is uh, largely humbug. Now, here's an interesting story for you. If you're a Facebook user, as roughly one sixth of the world is. That's quite scary figures that, isn't it? Uh, there's a, a funny little situation that happened last weekend. Good Lord, what on earth happened there? Walmart, or rather one of their social media champions, decided to go online and raucously protest against the Facebook changes of that weekend and basically went onto the Walmart page, home to 30 million likes, to say, what the F? has Facebook been thinking? By the time he took it off, they'd just had 2,078 shares, 6,100 likes, and 3,221 comments. And obviously somebody had already taken a screen grab for posterity before the probably now fired Walmart employee took it down. <laughs> just goes to show what happens when your personal and your professional Facebook lives mix to obviously disastrous consequences. It's quite amusing I think you'll find and uh, I certainly had a bit of a giggle about it. Now just to talk a little bit about that while I'm just here obviously before I go away and do the weekend thing and terrible news about almost famous Manchester having a massive fire my other half works for the fire service and I uh, got some fabulous pictures um, but the roof is gone and uh, I imagine the kitchen too since that appears to be where the fire started I guess if you run a restaurant the chances are it's going to be there where uh, things are going to get hot in the kitchen so uh, sorry about that Bo I hope, I hope you get back on your feet soon enough. I know the staff were cool and also uh, the firefighters bringing out people's coats which was a very nice move. In fact the fire service has been praised for its incredible social media efforts around this tragic event. Uh, no lives were lost uh, apart from some cows but then they were lost early because it's a burger joint so it had obviously nothing to do with the fire. But I was doing a great Twitter workshop for my boss's boss's boss the other day. Oh, the power. Or rather, that just shows me how far down the pecking order I am, which just makes me feel depressed at 38 years of age. But I was talking about uh, all the social media stuff and explaining you know, what a Twitter is and what a tweet is and what a retweet is. And I actually got in what a modified tweet is, because sometimes on Twitter you'll see MT at the username and what that actually means is it's like a, a different version of an RT, a, a retweet but it's when you change subtly either the wording of the original tweet or, or in my case the context because it makes me look better um, and you know it's all public isn't it and that god you saw me jump on air the power of the internet um, I'm going to go back now to some other stuff which is all the screen share bits and pieces this just in this superbike, this, I'll tell you what, this is amazing. Listen to this. 0 to 60 miles an hour in three seconds. That, you might think, is fair dinkum if you're Australian or maybe from New Zealand. But more importantly than that, it's not powered by your common or garden petrol. Oh, no. You can plug this freaking bike in. Yeah, it's the world's fastest electric superbike, reports Gizmodo. .co.uk. This is phenomenal, isn't it? £40,000 for this bike. It is, somebody even quoted on this column itself, saying it's badass. And uh, who would deny that? Even Alpha Papa himself, Alan Partridge, who is making his filmic debut in August, 
I think we'll be loath to disagree with that statement. Now, if you're like me thinking, oh, I might jump on the Apple bandwagon, but uh, literally without reproach when it comes to the pricing, you'll be cheered to see that the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro is now available for $1,249, which is an incredible discount. Come on, who's not going to buy that except clearly very wealthy people or uninformed fools because it looks like Apple is uh, going down. That's probably what Mike Tyson would say to Evander Holyfield. So, uh, yeah, I guess it is really a boxing match between the, uh, the Apples and the Microsofts these days. I know Microsoft did a fabulous job with Windows Phone. I think the new Nokia 925 is beating the pants off the competition and where Android is very fragmented and there's lots of different versions of the operating system going around and Apple just seems to have lost its way. That iOS 7 with all of the colours of the rainbow in it, it just looks hideous. Don't know what Joni Ive was thinking. But uh, if you are still vaguely inclined to get an Apple, £249 for a Retina display 13-inch MacBook Pro is pretty good. Of course, that won't be sporting the brand new Haswell chip that the MacBook Air is. That means that you'll get about a million hours of battery time from each charge. So there you go. Now, if you've been following the Prism stuff, not Prism Break, that, that'd be good though. Maybe somebody should pick that up. Prism Break. All this stuff about the government's taking your data and going, oh, now, why has it been CMDing emails about wearing ladies' pants and telling your grandmother about it? Then there's another way, and that way is encryptfree.com. And it is literally free, uh, the free in all senses of the word. And all you need to do is type in the password that you will send to the person who you're sending the email to, type in the text, send them the email, tell them the password, and they'll literally go here type the password in into decrypt text and uh, that encrypted content will be revealed. Isn't that exciting? All that stuff. So if you're really paranoid then that might be something you want to consider I suppose. Now I have been soaked to the bloody skin today. It's been a horrible day here in Manchester. It's been raining all day and because I get the bus I tend to be standing outside for long periods of time. I wish there was such a thing as never wet for people. Never wet is a new invention that coats anything and makes it therefore waterproof. It's fabulous. I think you have to put a couple of versions on and there's a clear glass version in the works uh, if you want a waterproof glass maybe. I always thought it was. I've never seen a, a soggy glass and I've sat in many a beer garden when the heavens have opened so not quite sure about that but this looks quite interesting doesn't it? Never wet. You can watch the video over at Fast Company. Go to fastcompany.com and if you can find the search bar good luck with that then uh, go and read that stuff or alternatively go to davethackeray.com where I'll have this for you in the links accommodating uh, well, uh, alongside this show that you've had the misfortune to find and finally for you on the webs Deli Fonseca which is one of my favourite restaurants in the whole of Liverpool that's the finest city of the northwest of England uh, yeah, I'm obviously not biased uh, it's got this unique offer for you and it's simply this if you go and request in advance a table by the window which obviously makes the restaurant look very busy and that is if you are the restaurateur the one table that you want to fill up with pretty people because it makes your restaurant look hip then they will literally give you 50% off your food bill now you've got a book for between 3 p.m. and 7:30 p.m. Monday to Thursday, and you've got a book a table board between four and eight people. But that's a massively good deal. Very unique. Never seen anything like this before, and it's a really, really good idea. And of course, because you're booking through the web as well, it's a really good way of getting people who wouldn't ordinarily come to visit your establishment to book in and I think these days where restaurants by and large are really up against it to figure out how to get more bums in seats then clearly this is the way ahead wouldn't you say well I certainly wouldn't that's all that matters because it's my show right so that is the story so far that is the story for the week of this week uh, it's the 28th of June so that will be from like the 22nd because uh, that's about seven days um, just to reaffirm if you get the chance get over to Web Summit and vote for me on the people's stage I'd love to talk to you I'm sure it'll be screened live that'll be exciting what's coming up next week well two things number one I 
I'm hopefully getting the loan of an electric bike. I say hopefully because I'm due on BBC Radio Merseyside about half past nine on Monday. It's the very first day of July. Don't forget, just after midnight, white rabbit, the first thing you say, you'll have a month of great luck. Hopefully I will. I've got about a 23-mile round-trip commute on this bike. And uh, if it's anything like today, I'll arrive looking like a soggy old mess on top of my fine new steed. I decided to do this because I'm sick of riding on buses. Uh, it takes far too long. And I want to get some more exercise. And I thought, well, why not combine the two pursuits of getting to work and getting some exercise, but not getting there really, really sweaty and uh, Finding an electric bike might be the solution. If not, I'll just lease a car. Uh, good name for a car, Lisa. I always thought that. And that's that. I don't, what was the other thing I was going to mention? Yes, of course. How could I forget? Of course, Factnology Live isn't just about the day's news or the past few days' news. It's about kind of helping you out with social media. So if you want to jump on board the next Factnology Live, T to the M, to the TM, then why don't you drop me a line, hello at DaveThackeray.com, or get me on Twitter, at Dave Thackeray, and we'll solve your digital woes. I plan to start doing that on my newspaper column, which actually my latest one is now on DaveThackeray.com, if you're interested in reading solid prose. I'm going to be starting a column called Shine Online, helping digital businesses do better business online. Nice little bit of a finish off with a flourish there. That has been Thacknology Live. You have been a perfect, magnificent crowd of one. Thank you, my dearest watcher. And I'll be seeing you again in the new week. So until then, have a great weekend. And don't forget, John Jans still on creativelive.com as I speak, which is 6.47 UK time. Get over there and learn a bit about small business marketing to be the best you can be. Till then, see you soon. Dave Thackeray signing out. All the best. Take it easy.